today's video I'm gonna break down exactly how much YouTube paid me in 30 days. I wish someone would have showed me these stats before I started on YouTube. It would have changed the game for me. And I'm also going to break down how much I made as a full-time content creator in total with all of my sources of income. I used to watch videos like this one all the time. I would binge watch like five of them back to back, trying to figure out how much every YouTuber was making. I was wondering, how can I do this? And then I just decided, you know what? Let me just start a YouTube channel. So I started one, I started uploading videos, I started uploading shorts, and then I started making ad revenue. So I'm gonna show you the ad revenue. I'm also gonna show you the amount of money I make as a creator, which I don't usually go into in depth online, but this video is gonna reveal everything. Let's dive into my laptop screen, that way I can show you how I did this and how you can too. Anyone can set this up if they're willing to put in the work. So this is the month of May, so I broke this down into 30 days, 31 days specifically. Um, and exactly how many videos I uploaded. So on May 1st, I uploaded two videos. I uploaded a, I, f I believe this is two short form videos and I uploaded a short, I uploaded a short, I uploaded a short. I was uploading a video almost every single day in the month of May. And you're probably wondering, Maureen, how do you upload this much content? It's super easy because I just download all my TikTok videos watermark free. I download my short form videos and then I just throw them onto YouTube and then they go on YouTube and then they make my money on YouTube, which is spectacular. So like, I don't have to film new content every day. I just schedule this out. So at the beginning of the month, I try to schedule 30 shorts to go out and then those shorts bring in passive revenue. So if you're a content creator and you don't already download all your content from Instagram, TikTok, or platforms like that, watermark free and post it on YouTube, you're missing out on tons of ad revenue. This day I uploaded two videos, two short form videos, short form video, and then this day I uploaded a long form video, and you see on the day that I uploaded a long form video, I only made $5.61. And then with that, yeah, a little bit more, I uploaded two videos, one long form video, short, short, two videos, it's got a long form video, long form video, long form video. So in the month of May, I think I uploaded, what, um, one, two, three, four, five long form videos in the month of May. And you're probably wondering, Maureen, how much did you make in the month of May? Let's see this. $275.41, which honestly isn't bad considering this wasn't that much work. Like on my best day, I made $19. So that's how much I made in 30 days on YouTube. And you're probably thinking, Maureen, how are you a full-time creator if you're only making $275? And this is what most YouTubers don't tell you. Most creators have multiple streams of income. So let's go over to the month of May. All this YouTube traffic, where did this go? How did this YouTube traffic make me even more income? Stan store. This is the same month of May. I made $15,700 in Stan store revenue. And this is another source of my income as a full-time creator. I also have a school community. You might've heard of school. That's another way you can add a revenue stream. That's basically a membership platform where you start your own membership. It's sort of like Patreon. You've probably seen other YouTubers use that. The membership was probably making about $1,000 a month um, in May. So I would say with 15,700 and then we've got what, 275 and then about 1,000 from the membership. We've got almost $17,000, around $17,000 as a creator. Also, I'm 20 years old, right? So if you're a creator and you're not making this much money from YouTube, you need to sell, you need to start a stand store and you're probably wondering, could it, Marine, how did you convert this? And it's because I got all these visits and all these visits came from YouTube, TikTok, and Instagram. So on Instagram, I drive traffic and then people buy a few different options. So if I go into my store, we can see how the income comes in. So this is a little different than your average YouTube video, but that's because everyone thinks that YouTube ad revenue is the best way to make money or they think it's amazing. It's good, but what's even better is setting up your creator business to run smoothly. So I actually work full time as a content creation coach. I help clients around the world make their content better and help them drive more income because most creators aren't getting paid what they should. They're spending hours on content and they're not making a lot of money. So what I do here is 
I've got an application for people that apply to coach with me. And then when someone applies to coach with me, I think in the last month and a half, I got over 50 applications, which was crazy for new people wanting to hire me. So that was amazing. But when I sign someone, they sign as a multi-thousand dollar client. People are paying me $1,000 a month, $2,000 a month, $3,000 a month for coaching and for consulting because I'm working with creators that are really established, that are really successful and they need help. And then we're able to add more revenue into their business because they drive more you know, from their stand store, from their digital products. So that's one of the ways I make amazing income from my social media audience is I sign people as coaching clients. So let's say you're a fitness coach. Instead of just relying on your YouTube AdSense when you're posting these workouts, sign a couple fitness coaching clients. I'm actually flying to San Diego next month to speak about how to go viral on social media and how to make more income. So it's pretty cool that if you set this up correctly, you'll get paid way better. And YouTube AdSense is not the best way. I think it's uh, diversifying. Then we've got the second way I monetize, which is through a membership. So I've got a membership called the Creator Circle. That's right now, it's $97 a month. So people put their cards on file and this revenue isn't even tracked in Stan because this is built in a different platform that's built in school. This might look complicated to you. This is extremely easy to set up. I'll link a free trial to Stan, but like there's so, it's so easy to set up. It's literally the easiest website to build ever. Also, websites are dying if you think, oh, I should be a YouTuber and then I'll set up my own website. Stop right there. It's going to be a waste of your time. It's too complicated. You don't need a website. You just need a Stan store. Then I sell two books, which is amazing. So I sell these digital books that I wrote myself. This one's talking about how to build your dream life by getting rejected as many times as possible. Maybe you recognize me as the rejection therapy girl. I applied to Harvard as a joke and ended up getting waitlisted and then I got in some news articles about that. But off of all that traffic, I sell these books. So I'm making book sales almost every single day and this is bringing in, this will probably bring in over $10,000 this year in book sales. And when someone purchases that book, I don't have to do anything because Stan emails them a copy and then I get paid. So I could sell 100 copies a day. I could sell 500 copies a day because it's sending them a PDF. And then I also send or sell a book about how to build Stan Store. So I actually used to work at Stan Store helping creators build this, what I'm showing you, right? So I've also got that. And I'm not telling you to buy that, like you don't need to buy a Stan Store kit. Literally, you can figure it out yourself. It's fairly easy, but that's one of the other ways I make income. So this is all broken down, but a majority of my revenue comes from one-on-one -on -one coaching clients and group coaching clients. So I, wanna, I run a group filled with content creators where we met this morning, we meet for an hour and I'm just helping them. I'm like auditing their social media. I'm giving them viral hook ideas. I sent everyone away from the call with action items and hook ideas, but that is the stand store income for that month, which is pretty cool. So I'm going to blur out that email address, but like in stand store, yeah, as a creator made over six figures with Stan selling digital products, selling coaching. So if you're not monetizing multiple ways as a content creator, you're missing out on the best revenue because, you know, the YouTube revenue is good, but let's see revenue. I'm going to do all-time revenue from YouTube. I've never done this. In the last 365 days, okay, so in the last 365 days, I've made $942 from YouTube. And on my best day, actually, my best day was just a couple days ago, the 27th, I made almost $30 from YouTube in a day. That's pretty good. Um, let's see, last 90 days, last 90 days made about $600. Um, it's a great source of revenue, right? But it's not as good as having multiple. So use the YouTube traffic you have, drive that into a stand store and set up multiple sources of revenue. So that's, that's a reveal of my 30 day revenue from YouTube, how much YouTube paid me as a fairly new YouTube channel. I just took YouTube more seriously as you guys saw this year, like um, yeah, I got monetized May, March 18th, um, so I only took it seriously really this year, right? I posted a couple videos before then, a few videos before then, but that's a reveal of how much money I make from YouTube, and if you're curious about setting up a stand store, that is definitely something you should do, because I, <laughs> I wish someone told my younger self, Maureen, you can make more than $10 a day as a content creator. Don't rely on Instagram ads. Don't rely on the creator funds. They pay horrible in comparison to sign a client from your, sign a client from your content, sell a digital product. You've got this.
this is your sign. Start creating content today because if you build a personal brand on social media, you can change the trajectory of your life. You can build a passive income stream. You can build multiple streams of income like I did in my own life. I'm only 20 years old and over the next 10 years, I plan to grow this exponentially. And I wish I started younger, honestly. So you need to start today. I don't care whether you're 65, 95, 22. Start posting the content and don't just rely on ad revenue. Rely on multiple streams of income because then you can feel confident knowing that you're going to make amazing income getting paid to be you on social media. For anyone watching this video that wants to hire me as their content coach, that's my full-time job. I actually just thought, got off a Zoom call this morning with all my clients where I go in-depth helping people set up their YouTube channels, helping people grow on TikTok and Instagram. So if you want to work with me, you can apply for coaching below. I cannot wait to have you here and welcome to my YouTube channel.